Hey guys, um, so just a quick video just to show you how to add a database. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the standard database um, that can be done. So just to show you, the first thing I can do is right click at the top here and go select database. Um, so you can see here I have three separate um, files, a configuration, component and symbol. Um, so the standard database has three separate files, but some databases uh, like this one uh, you can see that they're all the same file as soon as I select one it brings them all in um, but under normal circumstances they have three separate so you know the database that creates the, that holds the symbols there's a database that holds all the components and then the third database holds all our different configuration settings attributes etc so um, all I really need to do to add one is if I right click and go to configure database I'm gonna hit add now when I add, uh, it's our provider is going to be here. Uh, normally we use the Microsoft Office Access Database Engine. Uh, in this case, uh, 16, because I've got a 64-bit version. If you had a 32-bit version, you'd have Office Jet um, 3.0 and 4.0. Uh, but in, in this case, I'm just going to choose a 16. I hit Next, and I'm going to find the data source. So now it depends on your Windows. Sometimes you can actually browse, but otherwise you need to type in. What I normally like to do is have uh, my database open and if I start with, say, components, I'm just going to go right click, uh, create shortcut. And if I go to the properties of the shortcut, I just copy the target. It's probably a bit easier than um, trying to find the path. In this case, it's a bit of an obscure location. Uh, normally speaking, it depends on your version, anyways. If it's below 20 uh, or 2018 or below, um, they're in the program file CDB folder um, of the installation directory uh, otherwise if you have 2019 or upwards um, then they are in public documents uh, so it's a bit of a challenge to find them um, so yeah if you find it and then do that then you can simply come in here and paste it and hit ok um, so that's the first one so in the description the description is basically a nickname and I can just say this is components um, and hit next and here I'm just going to leave this blank for this process and I'll show you when I do the next. So if I click add again and I'll go to 16, I'll paste this and I'll change components to symbols. Um, .mdb which is the second one and hit OK and then here I'm going to just put symbols and hit next. So here I can actually grab my components and I can say my valid database is components. So that one goes with the component. So hit next and finish. And I'll do the third one, which is the configuration. The configuration, just paste it again. It's on MDB. Hit OK and I'll just put config, hit next and finish. So I'm just going to go back to my um, components that I did. You can see the description here. So I'm going to hit uh, configure and I'm just going to go to this step here and actually uh, change so path it to this config. Um, I technically should have done the config first and then one of the others, but nonetheless. Um, so basically what this screen here does is it, uh, put it puts them together. So it means that that components belongs to this symbol and this configuration. So hit next, finish and okay. So if I go to select database now and I choose my components, uh, you'll see you'll bring all three of them will have a tick aside. If I didn't go to that last step, the, com the config uh, wouldn't get called up automatically um, but we want them to be there and they want it to be uh, together uh, if I had for example and I'll just put this one if I hit OK okay in this case you'll let me do it because it's technically the same file um, but under normal circumstances I'd get an error to say they're not um, yeah, they're not grouped together uh, so that's basically it. Uh, the only thing from here is you'd want to go and right click tree structure. You might want to modify a tree structure. You cannot modify the default structure. What you can do is hit redefine and type in new structure. Your structure can also vary and this is just picking up attributes. So what I normally like to do is have say a main class. Um, 
main class class you can have a supplier below or something like that the here is what shows up in the info column so you know count or name uh, I normally do count name is if you want to show here would say class or main class you know it's also the description that shows up in the component level why level etc um, but you can change it to a few different things if you want to change it to an internal part number or an article number for argument's sake um, uh, you can do so but I normally like to keep a description I hit OK save changes and then my structure will be as such so in this case I've got a few that I created for different customers but nonetheless um, they're all there um, so the other thing again that you'll have to do is if you right click and go to component search configuration you'll want to add your search bars at the top so if I start with my uh, component code um, component name rather uh, which is my entry I normally put my description and this is depends on up to you what attributes you need and I also put supplier um, so this is the three that I normally use most of the time but any other attribute that exists uh, if the component has populated data then you can find it and add it so you can add it like so and then just be mindful you might need to do something similar for symbols uh, you might not have to navigate through symbols in the project mode but if you do want to do that you can you can simple search configuration um, rather than component code you're looking at symbol name and then the rest you know you can have a description but symbol 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 name is normally enough uh, for my use anyways and then miscellaneous will be similar but so um that's basically it uh, switching between them you can right click select database and switch between the different ones say the standards and then the anything else um, so i hope that makes a bit of sense uh, and if you have any questions just let me know thank you